Hey guys, Ryan here, SB's Gym. Updates, you know, with Slam Fest was last weekend. <clears throat> a few upsets there, I think. A few surprises, guys, I would have picked to win. Didn't, uh, didn't. That's about all I'm going to say about that. We've uh, moved forward a little bit with the Mansas Challenge, and Mr. Gaber has accepted the matches with me, so I will be competing there. Um, He's stepping up, and I'm, I applaud him for that, but I'm not so sure it's uh, it's the best idea he's had, but uh, and we'll see. Lots of stuff happened this week. We're going to take you through exercises six and seven, which are the two variations of finger blaster that I do, um, and that will be concluding all the exercises in the first workout of the week. And uh, I will have a quick snapshot of my training journal throughout this video, so if you see that, pause on it and you can go back and review those videos if you need any pointers or have any questions things like that post them in the also post them in the uh, comment section down below and i'll do my best to answer everything you guys ask um mr grippler has called me out mr ian carnegie posted his uh top 12 wish list of people he wants to arm wrestle um that's ambitious you know i saw some of the names on that list man and he's He's biting off big chunks with some of those guys and uh, for me and him I guess it'll happen at Nationals which will be next year but it's a ways off. I'm sure there'll be lots of lots of trash talking between now and then between the two of us or maybe not. Maybe we'll have other things going on. The UAL is talking about a tournament or an eight-man round robin for a $26,000 ring. Put me in there man like it's been a long time since I was in the UAL. Long time since I was ranked in the UAL. But you've seen what I've done since then. You can't deny the results from another league just because they're another league. So I think I deserve to be in that eight-man bracket. And uh, I'd go so far as to say, Jerry Cataret, I will challenge you for your spot. And uh, leave that at that. But you guys got any questions? Otherwise, the videos are going to keep coming. And we're going to start day two exercises next week. Now I'm going to be head off camera a little bit here guys, but I want you to I want to explain a couple of things to you when we're doing this. I've made my finger blaster so that the top is very thin and there's a cavity under here for this bar to go into. So when you squish it, it can be squished really flat inside your fingers. <clears throat> it was made that way. Landon Fillion made it for me that way. Maybe his biggest contribution to the sport of arm wrestling. Just kidding, buddy. I love you. He's a former national champ, by the way. But the first exercise I'm going to do is, uh, or the first variation, this is the only one in the workout where we do three sets, is palms on top. I'm kind of cradling that bar right across <clears throat> this part of your fingers. Okay? And then you're closing your hands like this. Now when you close a gripper, your hand tends to go back. So form on this is very, very important. Grab it, sit back, wrists in a positive position. None of this stuff where you're doing this, that defeats the purpose. So wrists in a positive position, either neutral or slightly curled in, okay? And that's the exercise right there. Because it's grip, I go a little bit higher reps. 25, 30. Okay? That's variation number one. Variation number two, this is the old Tony Katowski. Thumbs on here. Putting your thumbs on the top of it, cradling this in your fingers, and you're closing it like this. Flat fingers. Two sets of this. You guys have any questions? You know what to do.